All right, so now I'm working on the pressure relief uh, valves. So I have the long one with the plunger, the short one here, and then I have one Allen bolt and one which is actually the temperature um, sensor. So basically the temperature sensor is gonna go on the one that's on the flywheel side here. And that's the short spring. And then the Allen bolt one is gonna go on this one, which is towards the pulley side. So what I'm gonna do is just get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of oil on here. A little bit of white grease. All right, oil. And I have my white grease here, which is that's just gonna make it slide a little better for the beginning. Okay, so this one goes in here with a long spring. And this one here, a little grease and a little bit of oil. I don't know, that seems, and this one will go in, in there with the short spring. Make sure that that is good. All right, so then this one is going to on there it has a little bit of a this one not a copper washer but it does have a metal washer on there and then this one the spring is much much longer I don't know but it's got to be this it's got to be the right side for that All right, so we'll just tighten this one down. And then this one, I don't have, I can't really reach this one very well. I'll just try to tighten this down as best I can. Given that I can't really reach it. Try to figure out the spring is much shorter. I just want to make sure I'm going to double check that I put the right spring on the right side. Um, it's interesting because this temperature sensor has a deeper threading on the shorter spring and then the allen bolt seems to have a shallower threading but it has a much bigger spring so the question is they seem to let's see if i can get that tightened down at all Okay, good. So, that's that. Um, I mentioned that is here the temperature sensor for oil temperature. And here is the 
other one, which is doesn't have the temperature sensor. And then it's all set up.